What's up, Rams? I'm AJ Montgomery. We have everything in CSU Sports. But to start off the show, let's throw it over to sports anchor Jason Ortiz in the X's and O's room to break down some spring football. Thanks, AJ. Today we're going to be looking at a quarterback race, and it's going to be, I'm going to try and break down each QB and what their strengths are and even some of their weaknesses. Try and stay away from some of their weaknesses, though. First up, we have last year's starter, who is Nick Stevens. Nick Stevens is very reliable. He has a very good arm. He is very accurate at times. And another thing is he can let it fly. Only thing is, without Rashard Higgins and Joe Hansley, I don't know if he is going to be the most decisive quarterback. Um, Joe Hansley and Rashard both helped him cruise over 2,000 yards this season. But again, Nick Stevens, very reliable. He can get the job done. Next up, Faton Bauda. Not much we can say about him. We don't know much about him. He's a Georgia transfer. Came with Coach Bobo. This is a, he's a graduated student. He threw four interceptions in the game he played, so I don't know much we could say about him. He does have a very strong arm, and he is a very hard worker. J.C. Robles, this kid is an absolute stud. I don't know if there's much that you can say about J.C. Robles. That is bad. The dude has a cannon. Like he just drops a 40-yard dime right here, and the kid is amazing. J.C. Robles, he's quick, has a good eight arm. He's good at making decisions at times. When it comes down to it, sometimes he may not, at the collegiate level, not know what he's going to do. Um, he can be indecisive at times, but he's also quick. Look at him take off here. He can take off and get you into the end zone with his feet. He scored over 20 touchdowns in his high school career rushing. Next up, true freshman Colin Hill. This is a big kid. Big quarterback at 6'5", 225. He can just let the ball fly. Not the fastest on the team, obviously. I mean, he can read defenses really well. He lets it fly like all the rest of the quarterbacks. He's just huge. Like, this kid is a really big kid. Only thing is, only thing bad that he has going for him is that he is um, behind J.C. Robles, behind Nick Stevens, behind um, Faton Bauda. But once Faton and Nick graduate, I think he has a great chance at being a starter. Definitely. Well, last week we picked our final four predictions, and now let's see how each of us did. I mean, I only picked one game correct. Uh -huh. And, well, AJ, it looks like if you look at this, um, Villanova and Oklahoma, you picked both them. Yep. I picked them to match up to each other this week. And uh, I just feel like Villanova is going to come out on top over Oklahoma, and their perimeter defense is going to cage up Buddy Hield. And but you never know, Buddy Hield might just explode for another 37 for this week, and they might be on their way to the national championship. Yeah, I have Notre Dame winning the or not Notre Dame, North Carolina um, winning the whole thing. The way they came out and just. Mm -hmm. romped all over Notre Dame in the second half. Mm -hmm. Syracuse is a tough team. They've made a great run. But what a surprise, huh? A su a surprise uh, that a 10 seed made it this far. The second lowest seed to ever make it mm -hmm. to the Final Four. But Villanova and Oklahoma, that is going to just be a jump shooting game all oh, yeah. the time. Oh, yeah. There's going to be there's gonna, it's gonna be a high scoring game. <laughs> it's going to be a great game. Yeah. So before we uh, let you guys go, we have a lot of CSU sports coming up this weekend. If you look at this, this weekend, just this weekend, uh, track and field has the CSU Pueblo Pack Classic, and they're sending some players to the Stanford Invitational. Women's tennis plays at New Mexico. Softball has six games. Six games. Yeah, they play a triple header on Thursday, and that is just really? ridiculous. Mm. Well, that's all the time we have, but don't go anywhere. As an entertainment anchor, Nicole Hines has the most intense Easter egg hunt ever.